Hi everyone, I'm Carlene from Get Nutrition Clients. I'm really glad you're here for this video training. We're going to be talking about the delivery. This is the delivery of your products and how do you turn your buyers into raving ambassadors for your brand. As always, before we get started, I want to let you know that to the right of this video, you can download the PDF that accompanies this. Number one, you need to determine what your intake procedure is. What do you need from people? Do you need them to sign up with an appointment time? Do you need information about their biometrics? Do you need information about their eating habits? Figure out what that is before you go any farther. This can include forms and any welcome information that you want to send their way. Number two, you want them to take immediate action. As soon as somebody clicks buy, they're ready to get started. And if you're not available right away to get on the phone, then you don't want a lot of time to pass. Let them take action while they're motivated. I really want to encourage nutrition experts to take advantage of the technology that we have to make your life easier. Not so that you can avoid getting your hands dirty, but so that you can spend your time on transforming lives. Use your email autoresponder to set up an automated sequence to anyone that buys to get in your intake procedure. Also, if they need to set up an appointment time with you, let's get to number three, scheduling. There are so many web services that will allow you to create automated scheduling that you can put up your available times and people can choose within them. You'll receive a notification anytime you have an upcoming appointment and you can find that this will save you a lot of time. If you'd like a comparison chart or anything like that, some advice on which ones to go to, join the discussion in the Nutrition Entrepreneur's Mastermind and we'll talk about it. Number four is delivery method. How are you going to deliver your services? This will determine what other tools that you need. Are you going to be doing virtual calls using something like Skype? You could do this over video or over the phone. Are you going to be delivering an e-course? What tools do you need for that? Do you want a Facebook group or do you want a more private forum so that you can do group coaching and provide support? Take the time to just think about what you want to deliver and what will be the best tool for you to use. When you're thinking about your delivery method, please keep your ideal audience in mind as well as your ideal lifestyle. What are the ways that your audience will receive information best? If you're not sure, then ask them. Okay, number five, testimonials. Now we're gonna transition into thinking about how we can turn our customers and clients into raving ambassadors for us. No matter what I tell you about internet marketing, word of mouth still wins. You wanna gather testimonials, stories of happiness and success of the people that have worked with you. Social proof really works to bring in new clients. I recommend that you build this into your systems rather than having to do it each time offhand. So include this when you're developing your programs. When and how are you going to get the testimonials from your participants? Number six goes along those lines. Case studies. People want to hear stories of success. This is a deeper way of providing social proof. If you can get in depth and tell a story of somebody working with you or more than one person working with you that have gotten success in what their circumstances looked like, then that's ideal. Better yet, if that person resembles your buyer persona or your avatar, then you're really in good shape because people will see someone that they identify with. If you don't know what I'm talking about with avatar or buyer persona, then check out the Clarify Identity training video. There should be a link somewhere below. Number seven, incentivize sharing. You can do things like contests and encourage people to share your message with word of mouth. You could do a contest that uses a hashtag, or there's so many contest platforms that you can use that will encourage people to create viral buzz around your programs or just your brand in general. Again, word of mouth marketing reigns supreme. This is just a way to include the internet marketing into the word of mouth buzz. Okay, number eight is feedback. Collect feedback from your clients. If they have things to say that they weren't quite as happy about or suggestions for improvement, note that. Make adjustments whenever you feel it is appropriate. Listen to your audience. They're telling you what they want. And ultimately, we're here to serve them, right? We're here to deliver value to them. Number nine is continuity programs. Buyers are more likely to buy again. Focus your energy on creating opportunities for somebody who has purchased once 
to be able to purchase again rather than directing all your attention on getting new clients. I'm not saying it's an either or, but I'm saying in terms of you growing your business into being something sustainable, keep in mind that people who have purchased from you once are more likely and more willing to buy from you again. So think about ways that you can get them to continue on with you. So if you have to choose between creating a product that will sell to the people who are already working with you or a product to a completely new set of people, then just keep in mind that buyers are more likely to buy again than people who have not purchased from you at all. And number 10, analytics. I'm a big fan of letting the numbers speak because our intuition as a seller is often wrong and we may really know what value we want to deliver, but in how we're delivering it, in determining what works and what's resonating with people, the numbers will tell you. Now, I'm not saying become a robot and remove all your personal feeling out of it, but just allow the numbers to inform you. It's much easier to grow what you measure. Those are 10 actions that I believe are very important for you to succeed in the delivery of your services. I really hope that this series has been helpful for you. If you haven't checked out the other training videos in this free series, then do, please. It's ready and available for you. You have access to this membership site and it's all here waiting for you. So I want to remind you at this point, again, as always, that if you look over to the right of this video, you can download the PDF that goes with this. You can join the discussion in the Nutrition Entrepreneur's Mastermind. I'm really confident in the information that we give to you. This has been tried and true information. So if you implement this stuff, I look forward to seeing your progress and hearing from you. And cheers to your success.